my sort of educational like I was rubbish at maths at school absolutely terrible I was always creative in my thinking and I was very fortunate to be accepted into art school once I left art school I went to London I moved down to London and uh, worked for Philips Electronics for seven years then I left Philips and came into the world of advertising First of all, in a below-the-line agency, by the time that I left, they'd been bought. So I went from an agency of 65 to probably about 35,000 globally, but worked on some fantastic brands like the VW, um, Whiskers, Cat Food. It was just a fantastic experience for a young 20 year old you know that had come from a small uh, village up in Scotland to go to the bright lights. It was superb. Hi everyone, my name is Kirsty Buchanan. I'm Growth and Partnership Director over at CTI Digital. Uh, we're a full service digital agency based in the UK, over three locations. My location is in the Northwest in Manchester. We also have offices in London and Lancaster as well. I've been with the agency for four years, and in that time, we've had massive growth. We as a group are seen as one of the UK's largest digital tech and communications agencies. With my CTI hat on, we're very much in the digital transformation space. But with my global CTI group hat on, we are an agency with international uh, reach and global ambitions. We work across multiple sectors, so that customer experience could be with Merlin Entertainment in their sort of theme rides and their uh, event spaces within the UK and Europe. That could be creating the Department of Health's um, very important PPE platform, so where they were uh, exchanging and sharing PPE kit during COVID. On that site, we transacted over 80 billion units of PPE. We understand the end user and we always, and it's a massive passion of, uh, of Nick, our CEO, to think people first over technology. So my personal journey is, uh, so I was brought up in a rural part of Scotland, um, not that far from a place called St Andrews, which is very famous for golf, but in a very small fishing village. And um, my dad was an ex-professional footballer. Um, my mum was on the West End. So I came from quite a, a sort of very vocal, passionate sort of, uh, of family. For my leadership skill, I would say I am definitely a strategic leader. And that has definitely come over the years. I have moved more into the growth and partnership role because one of the um, areas that um, I seem to do very well in is relationship building. I think some of the strengths that I bring to the partnership role is being a strong communicator, definitely an active listener. I am a collaborator. I think one of the pieces of advice that I was given many moons ago, my job is not to provide the right answers, but it's to provide the right questions. And that is always something that I try to adhere to because I'm, I'm very curious. Over the years, I've been involved with Tech She Can, which is a PwC initiative about um, educating at digital into the lives of 14 to 16 year old girls and also sort of upskilling their parents. It isn't that often that you, you ever hear of anyone sitting around a dining room table and say, mum, I want to be an SEO manager when I grow up. But it's, it's showing those sort of skills and, and, and knowledge that there's so many different roles within the world of digital. And it doesn't matter if it's your right brain or your left brain. There's different skills and attributes that you could bring into digital. Within CTI Digital, we have a strong 
female, uh, LBGT um, presence. It's something that our culture and HR team have been um, passionate about and drive. Um, we've got a lot of initiatives going on. We work with um, WYK, which is a new initiative, that, a partnership that we're in at the moment, aimed at 18 to 24 year olds new to digital, coming from all walks of life, from all experiences. You might have a university degree, you might not, but you're interested in coming into digital. And we're giving them that first time exposure as to what life in an agency would be like. And I think that is where we can help affect the change. One of the, the projects that we work with Platform SH on is the British Council. So we work with them from a digital transformation side. We work from them from a managed service position, and we also manage them from a hosting position. Now, that platform is Drupal. And they've been on Drupal for the, the full um, time that they've been with us as an agency. In a nutshell, we work pretty much over nine global regions with the British Council in, in over 80 languages. It's a very meaty project. What's been great and what's helped amplify that is from a platform SH perspective, the the speed and flexibility that it brings to our development flow, because we've been doing a lot of migration within that world of the British Council. It also means that we've been able to streamline systems and also help with the governance and cost efficiencies within the British Council. Literally over 70% of our clients are retained and have been with us for over seven years. I think the way that we can educate some of the clients that we work with, that they don't have to change everything all at once. You know, we can look at, you know, different components and and, and, and cherry pick where we're going to, um, you, you know, focus our time and effort. And I think that that's been helping clients with their budgetary and their planning roadmaps for the next year. So, you know, anything that we can do to help the, the clients understand the level of investment that they need, it's understanding, but going at the client pace, but actually educating them to so that they understand what needs to happen and what needs to happen, but not just now. One of the phrases that Steve, our CCO, uses is, you know, understanding what potentially the difference could be for your business from a digital transformation project to a digital evolution project. The advice that I would give is to always be human, um, to always treat people with respect. doesn't matter what title or where they are within their working life or career, and to always smile.